Bowling Green State University is rolling out a new line of autonomous robots to support the custodial staff while cleaning campus. NBGSU says it's the only school in Ohio with this technology. NBC24's Derek Hyde got a look at the new robots. So as you can see, the cleaner is a little bit bigger than your typical Roomba and is the newest of the autonomous machines here at BGSU. So this, ro this particular cobot is used um, nightly. It'll do anywhere between 12 and 15,000 square feet of hard floor a night. Robots have taken over BGSU, first delivering food and now cleaning the buildings. We, we strive to be innovative. We strive to make sure that we are delivering to our students um, the highest quality experience that they can experience here on campus and adding value to that experience. So we also want to make sure that we're doing that in an efficient and effective banner. These brand new bots are designed to clean the floors of the buildings, aiding the BGSU custodial staff. None of this is to replace any staff member, but it's to support staff so our staff can focus on kind of the more um, interactive, detail-oriented type work, and we, we're, we are helping remove some of the mundane, repetitive style work. Staff members use the robot to scan QR codes on the walls of the building, and then it goes off on its own to clean. But they're not like the, the Roombas you have at home or might have at home. We train them and we teach them the, the route to take, and then we can verify that that was that that route was cleaned and at what time it was cleaned. So we're actually getting increased cleaning while assisting our staff in making sure all the critical work's taken care of. The cleaner has cameras that can detect when things are in its way and will resume right where it left off. They've even caught on with students who have named their personal cleaners. And they give them personality. So the one here is aptly named Scrubby because we're in the nursing facility. So scrubs and scrubbing the floor. The cleaners are only in three buildings right now, but could be introduced to more of the campus coming soon. In Bowling Green, Derek Hyde, NBC24 News.